I don't know why every time I go to record, stuff like that always happens, but either way, uh, hello and welcome to, oh, of course someone died, how do people die when I'm doing things? Um, welcome to episode 19, I think we're up to episode 19, of my playthrough of Dial of Tony's 1.18 mod pack. Um, this is kind of frustrating, did you come up Forrester? Come on guys, I totally did. Oh, I'm gonna steal those two back, I guess. Man, we need to work on on this. That people are dying way too often. That being said, that I'm dying a lot as well. Wow, you you are you are a beefy little mob. Jesus. Um. Okay, band of arthropods, nice. What else do we get? Hammer mobility. I have no idea what that does, but either way, um, welcome to episode 19. Uh, today I said we we're going to play with industrial foregoing, because I wanted the mob entrapment tool, because we need mobs here. We need sheep, we need cows, we need pigs, we need, we need all the things, right? But unfortunately, I realized that the mob imprisonment tool only has, uh, you can, you only get one per ghast here. And we don't exactly have access to ghast tiers, we don't have any yet. So I spent some time kind of between episodes uh seeing if i could find some ghasts in the in the nether and i didn't really have uh that's going to the wrong place it should be here um i didn't really have any luck so i think we're gonna go down a different path um we're going to go with it's called a personal shrinking device uh not that one this one there are multiple personal shrinking devices. We don't want the ones from compact machines, which I didn't know was in this mod. That's kind of cool. We might play with that later. Um, yeah, compact machines would be awesome. Because what I could do is I could have like these tiny little farms, like like little farms like this. Instead of having them in world, I could have them in a compact machine. Never mind. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, personal shrinking device. This thing. Uh, we only need an enderpearl for it. We need, um, from, uh, and some glass. That's really not that hard. It's from the mod shrink. Um, it's a kind of a cool thing. Uh, we'll grab the stuff that we need to make it. Let's just grab like a stack of iron. Does that sound like a good time? Uh, gonna need my enderpearl. And I need a glass as well, didn't I? <coughs> Cool. Let's make this bad boy on oh, a button. Uh, good thing we have some stone in here. Let's make that. Personal shrinking device. Beautiful. Okay, now we're just going to charge this thing. Oh, we need to have like a charging station or something up there. Maybe we move the energy cube up top. But either way, that's nice and full. This thing's kind of cool, right? Um, I was having a look at it. If we press... Ooh. Right click, it brings up this thing. Shift right. Shift left, shift right click. Can't open while shrunk. Apparently I'm shrunk. Oh. Point two. Aha, cool, we can... That, that's how it works. Okay, so by shift right clicking is actually how you use the device. If you press right click, and then on this one, I guess this technically works as a scaler from what your actual size is from player size to whatever size you want to turn into. So let's set this to like, let's go twice as high. Yeah, let's go twice as high. We're going to be four blocks tall. And then we press shift right click and then now we are twice as big as we were before. We can actually control our size of our character, which is kind of nice. It'll make it cool for like, um for like building and things. So let's say if I need to get into uh, like an area like this, if like, let's say we didn't have the cables in there. Bang, bang. I can break this and I can come down inside here and then place the cables underneath. I can move along where well, I can move in between here. That's kind of nice as well. Um, and do all these sort of things so that we can move around. But that's not the only thing that we can do with this mod. Um, I need to charge this stuff up. I didn't realize it used so much power. Uh, let's, oops, no, let's charge up my magnet. Charge up my personal shrinking device and let's hope the flux capacitor works. 
and doesn't just drain instantly in my inventory like it did last time. Hopefully whatever was doing that is fixed. Um, in the multiple mod updates we've had since then. Cool, we're fully charged. Are you going to keep draining? Okay. Uh, sorry about that, I got rudely interrupted. Um, our charm seems to be working, so now if we use this... Oops. Yeah, cool, okay. And that's going to keep it charged now. Uh, awesome, that's all I wanted to check. So whatever was draining at the last time seems to have been fixed. Um, of course it's night time, so let's sleep real quick. Once I kill this creeper. Um, and let's kind of figure out how this thing works. Yeah, I think I want to go to, oops, that's not what I want to do, right click, to the smaller size possible. We can use this to um, move mobs around. I was having a look, which is kind of cool. Um, so you need glass bottles and your personal shrinking device. So let's go find a non-hostile mob. We do have a couple sheep um, already that uh, I'm using in the colony. So I'm just going to quickly run over there and we'll show you how this thing kind of works. Which is kind of cool. It's, it's a cool little mechanic. Yeah, so as well as being able to shrink yourself, you can actually shrink other entities. Uh, from what I can tell, it's just by left-clicking it. And there we go, we have a tiny sheep. And then with that tiny sheep, if we right-click it with a bottle, we can store it. Now you can look at this. From shrink, contains Minecraft sheep inside the bottle, so the same sheep that we just had. We're going to go right click and then we can push it, place it back in the world. I think we just left click it again and it's back to normal size. That is how we are going to go around the world and collect up more animals. Because I need colored wool for some of these buildings. Let's go see. I'm going to show you this. I need colored wools for buildings like... Uh, for everything pretty much level 3 I think and up. Which is what I'm currently at. I've gone through and gone to level 3 with some of these buildings. So if you look at this one here... This is my builder's hut. Pretty much every block that got placed here, I have to sort of provide or give away for the colony to get it. So like all these colored blocks of wool and stuff like that, which is actually used in building, um, we need. And that's why I have the shepherd over there, the guy that's that's taken care of our sheep. But um, they have also have like a cool mechanic where they will automatically sort of dye wool random colors, which is super nice for us because it means I don't have to supply the dyes as well um it's just we just got to deal with random luck at that choice but i'm okay with that i'm okay with waiting some time for random luck for wool to get stored so i think we're going to do that but for that to work we need white sheep and we have nothing but gray sheep because i was silly and i put gray sheep in there as well as a white sheep and now shepherd decided to kill the white one instead of you know light gray and gray sheep so now we've got these colors, but this wool can't be dyed. So we're going to need white sheep. This, this is like, I'm, I'm, that was the issue that kind of spurred this on. But I've decided I may as well and go get a couple cows, a couple pigs, and a couple chickens as well. Just have one of every mob here, at least passive mob for the time being. Uh, we can get rabbits and stuff like that as well. Um, and we're going to do that. We're going to use the personal shrinking device to go do that. So we need... I think we need eight bottles, so we've got ten on us, that's fine. Um, now the other issue we're going to solve is getting around, because walking and running places takes too much time and it's not really all that fun. So what we're going to do is instead, we're going to go here, I'm going to look at the mod called Simple Plans. Hopefully it is as it says, and it is as simple as they reckon. So we're just going to grab what? some planks and a book and we're going to look at this together because I haven't played with it and I haven't seen anyone play with this mod before so we're going to figure it out on camera together cool introduction you can find information out of a creative plane or a helicopter <gasps> we can do helicopters as well health planes can get damaged look at this health bar on the right in order to fix the plane sit down in the plane while you parked and or use Quick fix kit. Cool, that's fine. Ooh. Uh, I can fit two passengers or a large upgrade instead of second passenger. Um, fit two passengers or a large upgrade instead of second passenger. You need an engine to power it, that's fine. 
Large plane can fit two passengers, but needs more fuel than the smaller version. You need an engine to power it. Uh, ten planks, a propeller makes that inside the simple the plane workbench. A uh, small plane can only fit one passenger, but it needs the least amount of fuel. You need an engine to power it. That's kind of cool. And the plane workbench. Okay, this thing's kind of expensive, but it's not really that bad. It's what? Two obsidian and a gold. Um, this is going to be how we make our planes. Let's let's just go with a small plane. We'll make one of these. With five planks and a propeller. That's kind of silly. That's like super cheap. Um, let's grab the things that we need. We need two obsidian, a uh, block of gold, which is in this chest. Oh, we are really not doing all that crash hot on gold, are we? Uh, a bunch of iron we've got. I'm going to need sticks. Let's grab a stack of sticks. I need some redstone. It should hopefully be enough for the plane workbench. Just need a regular crafting table, an iron pickaxe, and an iron axe. Uh, what am I doing? I need to make a plane workbench. Cool. Uh, we need a spot for this. Let's just throw it over here for now. Uh, cool. Oh, we can choose what material it's made out of. Uh, let's keep looking at the book. Engines, upgrades, miscellaneous. Let's look at miscellaneous. Charging station, parachute. No, let's not look at that. Engines. Cool. We have the option of an electric engine. It can be charged using the charging station. Uh, which looks complicated. We don't need that. Fuel by opening the screen by default using the X key while sitting in the aircraft. Furnace engine. I think we're just going to go with the furnace engine. How, how, how are we doing for coal? We should have like blocks upon blocks. Can I steal a stack? I only want a stack of coal. I think that's plenty good. Uh, cool, we'll use a uh, furnace engine. Um, let's add that to our wish list because we're going to make that in a second. I'm just going to need gold as well. We're going to need six gold. Let's grab block. Um, upgrades. Adding upgrades. To add an upgrade, right click while looking at the plane while holding the upgrade in your hand. Armor. Ooh, we can make it out of iron and give it armor. That's kind of cool as well. Uh, can we access it by opening the inventory? That's kind of cool as well that it has an internal inventory. I don't know how necessary that is since we have backpacks though. Do I have access to slime? Do we have slime? We don't. We need to work on slime at some point. Because that's kind of cool. Makes the aircraft float on water, which means we can like land on water and stuff. Folding upgrade makes the aircraft return to a player's inventory upon dismount. What? That sounds awesome. We need shulker shells though. We haven't been to the end. That's later though. No, that's fine. Rocket booster. Right click with the gunpowder while sitting in the aircraft to boost it. Might be dangerous. Um, I don't think we need that. Seats. Provides room for more passengers. That's kind of cool as well. Shooter. To use it, just put a dispenser in the aircraft. Right click with fireworks, fire charges, or arrows while sitting in the aircraft to shoot them. That's kind of cool as well. And supply crate. Cool. None of that really... Um, is necessary. The armor might be the only cool thing we'll do. We'll add armor to the plane for sure. Just because we have a, done, a, a fair amount of iron and it's not really going to hurt us. Banners we don't care about. Parachute. We might make ourselves a parachute. Um, just in case. We never know what might happen with the plane. So let's make a parachute. Is there anything else that we're going to need from this? Quick fix kit. Um, I don't think we really care about making these. Oh, you can like full like fly and drop artillery by using TNT. That is so cool. Um, but none of that really matters. We want to make a small plane. That's fine. Uh, we need planks of wood. We got planks of wood. I need to make a propeller, right? I think this is really the only thing we need, just an iron. So let's. Make one of you. 
done. Plain armor, can I make you straight away? Let's just grab three blocks of iron. It probably isn't super necessary to make plain armor, but we're going to do it anyway, because why not? Okay, cool, let's do that. Um, I think that's everything we need. Oh, I need to make this, the furnace engine. I need two redstone, I need a blast furnace. Uh, I should have. I'm pretty sure I made a bunch of smooth stone last episode. Yeah, I did. I forget what I made it for. I'm pretty sure I had needed it for like the, the colony or something. But we have smooth stone. Uh, cool. Um, I just need a furnace, which means I need cobblestone. Man, crafting things just makes your inventory get so messy so quickly. Let's make a blast furnace. Come on now. Oh, that's right. I, I didn't actually make the furnace, did I? Okay, furnace. I need two redstone. Let's make one, two, three of these. And then two of you. Bang, bang. We've got an engine now. Okay, so all we need now is the planks and the propeller, and I can make a plane. Oh, let's sleep because it's nighttime. Uh, so we want the planks in there. Did I make the propeller? I thought I made the propeller. Am I blind? I mustn't have made it. How did I get that distracted? I thought I had a propeller. Okay, we can make a large plane or a small plane. Don't think it really matters. Let's just have a small plane. Cool. And then... I guess we just go right click, right click this on the ground out here somewhere. Let's go here. Dunk. Oh, that is so cool looking. We have some plain armor as well. Chuck the engine in. Okay, we press X to access the fuel. Now, do you burn constantly or do you only burn while we're flying? It looks like we only burn while we're flying. Cool. So let's just keep a stack of coal in there. Let's leave the plane real quick and tidy up my inventory before we go on this adventure. That is so cool. Ah, uh, what do I need to get rid of? Let's just get rid of everything, hey? Let's get rid of that, 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 that. I don't need that. Uh, the book can stay on me because I'll just throw that inside my... Oh, I wanted to make the... Damn it, I put both of them away. A parachute, just in case. I get distracted very easily, apparently. Cool. Parachute. How does this work? What if I do it by jumping off my roof? <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> this mud is awesome. Okay. I have a parachute now. Uh, let's get rid of... Uh, okay, all this stuff can go into my backpack. I've only got an iron backpack. Is that me? Is it just me or does that seem kind of pez? Seeing as we have the stuff. Just, yeah, okay. Let's grab one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Can we just go to diamond? Yeah, we can just go to diamond. We have, we have the stuff. We have the means. Let's just make a diamond backpack. I, I can't believe I hadn't done that already. Diamond backpack. Yeah, okay, that's awesome for storage. Cool. Let's throw you away. Uh, we got our bottles. We got our shrinking device. Uh, let's figure out how the plane works. And we're going to keep an eye out on the minimap because I want to find pigs. Okay, so W seems to just be acceleration and height. And we're going to do this by pressing F5. Oh, this is so cool. So it's just your WASD, S is also then... ...to drop height. Um, I don't know how to slow this down. Shift. Oh god, not shift! Where's my plane? What have we done? We've made a mistake. 
Oh, Jesus. Where'd my plane go? Did we break it, like, immediately? Where'd it go? No, that's not it. Where's my plane? Oh, no. Okay, I found my plane. Okay, it's still alive. It's still in one piece. Somehow. And it didn't take any damage? Alright, fine. We'll take it. Uh, let's look at controls before we continue to, uh, <laughs> continue to fly. Let's look at simple planes. Drop payload. Plane boost key. Okay, it literally doesn't have... How am I meant to slow down? I have no idea how we're going to land this thing once we do... Oh god. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, so you just get it into the ground. That seems to work. I wonder if we can, like, break it if we need to. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared me, like, actually made me jump. That actually made me jump. Planes are a dangerous thing. Um. Yeah. Let's go slash back. Okay, so the plane just turned back into a um an item. But there's a cow here. Hello cow. And there's a couple sheep. Alright, so you don't want to noise dive into the ground. That is not something you want to do. Yeah, that was kind of the lead. Um, nose diving with the pain equals bad. Good to know. I was still like recovering from that. It legitimately scared me. Um, all right. I imagine trees are going to do the same thing. So you need to find like actual like landing, like sufficient space to land. So let's run over to this pig instead of flying over to it. Jeez. My heart. I did not expect that. I don't know what I expected. Like, diving face first into the ground, but... It seems to have not taken damage. No idea what this place is. Um, flying this third person is 100% the way to go, though. No idea what this place is. Is this like another abandoned colony? Yeah, it looks like it. Hey, because I think this is just another abandoned colony. That's kind of cool. All right, I see chickens. We need to go grab two of these bad boys as well. Oh god, landing is scary. Jesus, no, god damn it again. Why? How am I meant to stop? You know what? It's still working, okay? Even though we're dying. Not because I died at reset. Come here, chicken. I only need two of you. Um, Even though we're dying, we're still collecting things, right? That's all that matters. Okay, can we organize you? We've got sheep, cow... Chicken, chicken, pig, sheep. So we have two sheep. We have one cow. You have two chicken. Uh, you're not a chicken, you're a chicken. Two sheep, do that. So we just need one more cow and one more pig. And then we have um, the desired amounts. I genuinely have no idea how you're meant to land this thing. 
But I'm gonna keep exploring. Oh, there's wolves. And there's cows here as well. Okay, cool. Control? I don't know how you meant to slow down. This makes zero sense. Oh god. Okay. Just slowly just tap it over to where we want to end up near this oak forest over here. Just tap it over. I'm just going nice and slow. Alright, we're not in any rush. Oh Jesus. Okay, let's just land here. Alright. Nice and peacefully we've landed. Oh, landing that thing is kind of nerve-wracking, I'm not gonna lie. Bonk. And bonk. It's the last cow we need. That's the last pig we need. All right, let's fly back to the base. Because slash home would be normally the way I get there, but considering we have the plane now, I may as well just use the plane. All right, let's just like find a nice place to take off. I've seemed to have figured out taking off nice and easily. Once I'm in the air, it's fine, but... You accelerate by, like, going down, and then I can use that to gain more height, I'm sure. Okay, which way is the base? That's the one. Pink is what we're aiming for. Okay, cool. Nice. I want to know what this building is. See, this is why um that floaty thing with the slime would be nice, because I'd just be able to land there on the water, like, nice and comfortably. No, not shift. God damn it, I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. I didn't mean to. Now, oh, come on, stop it. Where'd my plane go? Where did it explode? I don't see it anymore. Okay. I don't see my plane anywhere in this forest. And that's the base. And I still don't see the plane. Where did it go? Is my question. I think we just lost it. I'm okay with that. Considering how cheap it was to make, it's fine. You know what? I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. We can make another plane. We can make it even cool a bigger one. Once I learn how to fly it. That's a creeper explosion at the back of the base, isn't it? I genuinely have no idea where that plane landed. Hmm. Okay, so I just made four very quick pens. This is by all means not going to be the um the final position of all of these animals, but just for the time being, right? We've we've accomplished our mission of collecting passive mobs. Uh grab our two sheep. Let's just place them into their pens for the time being. Uh these will be our pigs, bang and Bang. Now all that's left to do is just grab the personal shrinking, shrinking device again and left click each one of them and turn them back into normal size. Oh, if you can actually hit them. There we go. Nice. And I think that's uh, like objective complete for the day. I'm now going to go kill the, the sheep that are over there and replace them with these two. 
I might actually breed these up a couple times, just so that I have two of my own sheep, just in case, you know, you know, you never know what might happen. But anyways, um, I think that's mission accomplished for today. We'll leave this episode there for now. Um, I think next episode we're going to go through and do another little tour of the mine colonies and figure out where we want to go next um, and kind of show you what I've been working on in the meantime while we've been doing all these other things. I've been still playing around with that. I have not stopped messing with mine colonies. So like you can see that building's like fancy looking. Uh, the university's been working. We have obviously that sheep pen over there, which you guys haven't seen, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we can go have around and look at all of that. Um, anyone is still around? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one. Peace.